Hello all, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so when we work on uh, microcontrollers, we do see uh, different uh, serial interfaces, right? One of the simple and uh, easiest uh, serial interface uh, that do designers use is the UART. So while UART is present, uh, um, you, we also hear about uh, USAART. So, so these two are uh, two different uh, things. Um, so designers uh, do get confused between them and uh, talk that they are the same. We need to know some of the major differences uh, between them. So, uh, what is a short form for uh, universal asynchronous uh, uh, receiver transmitter, whereas user uh, is a short form for uh, universal synchronous asynchronous receiver transmitter. So here itself there is a clear uh, segregation, right? One is uh, asynchronous, one is synchronous asynchronous. So um, UART is basically asynchronous. Asynchronous means uh, <clears throat> between uh, when we are talking between two devices, there is no um, clock that is involved. Whereas UART can be used as both synchronous and asynchronous. So that means uh, there could be <coughs> a clock associated or you can also use it as a normal uh, UART. That means uh, user can be used as UART and other uh, uh, modes. And uh, one of the major important point uh, uh, we know about UART is it is full duplex. Full duplex means both uh, um, the devices uh, uh, between which they communicate, both can talk at a time. Uh, whereas you use that is half duplex in synchronous mode and uh, full duplex in asynchronous mode. So that means uh, if you are using use that as a UART, you can uh, use it as a full duplex mode. But if you are using it as a in a synchronous mode, that means you are having a clock and a data. Then it can only work as a half duplex. So we know UART is a low speed uh, serial communication interface. We might have worked for. Uh, uh, <coughs> On it in every embedded design so it is used for uh, low data rates right like uh, the kbps whereas with the uh, user uh, it, as it is having an external clock we can use it uh, uh, for higher data rates as well uh, and uh, uh, uart interface if you see the hardware interface it is very simple right you have a tx pin and rx pin where uh, uh, the tx of this particular device sends uh, uh, to the uh, data to the rx of the other device and then uh, the other device tx will send uh, data to rx of this device so that's how um, it communicates whereas in user uh, you will have a clock pin and a data pin so clock pin will have um, <coughs> Uh, we'll have the uh, clock and then the data is clocked in with respect to this uh, external clock. So one of the important point is uh, UART, we can use it only as uh, UART communication, whereas with UART, you can use it for several protocols. Like if you see uh, some of the data sheets, uh, UART uh, is mentioned as serial communication interface. Uh, it will have... Um, <coughs> Interfaces like uh, SPI included and uh, uh, interfaces like uh, LIN included in them. So it supports uh, uh, the um, synchronous communication. And then you, you are, uh, when we are transmitting between two devices, uh, uh, you, as we said, uh, UART doesn't have an external clock, but there will be an internal clock with this, which decides the baud rate. And then the receiver. Um, also uh, should know that uh, baud rate. So uh, when uh, two devices are communicating, because there is no external clock, uh, even before the communication port should be configured at uh, fixed baud rate, then only uh, both the com devices can communicate with each other. Whereas in USART, you need not uh, uh, have uh, them configured for a common rate because uh, you will have a clock and then uh, uh, based on the rate at which uh, the data is coming in, uh, the receiver can <coughs> read the data <coughs> and then receive it accordingly. So that, that's one uh, advantage here. Uh, so uh, definitely in user uh, beforehand, the receiving device need not know uh, the uh, frequency of uh, operation. And then 
in UART, you will have um, uh, a low power communication, low power consumption, uh, and UART will have high power consumption. So why uh, the difference in terms of power is? Uh, uh, if you are using a UART, right, you will have an internal clock. You do not have uh, anything to do uh, like generating an external clock based on. Uh, <coughs> the clock that is given to the UART controller internally, uh, the data is clocked out. Whereas UART uh, needs to generate the clock specifically at required rates and also as you are, uh, as we have to uh, generate the clock at higher speeds, uh, there, there is a, <coughs> a chance of uh, high power consumption. So if, if we basically see it, uh, for a microcontroller, we generally uh, have uh, UART uh, and then uh, SPI, I2C as a separate interfaces, uh, but in some of the microcontrollers, uh, uh, they call it a user interface and as we mentioned, some of the interfaces call it a CI, serial communication interface. So the, the naming uh, varies, but how uh, the UART and uh, user are used are completely different. So <clears throat> there is every uh, chance that when we see user to be might uh, think that it's only UART, but it will have different capabilities and it will also have uh, the UART capability. <coughs> so these are the major differences. Uh, if you have worked on uh, these uh, uh, UART or UART, uh, please post your comments. Please uh, <coughs> let us know if you have uh, further data on this, any problems you have faced with this uh, um, or different naming conventions that uh, you might have seen in different uh, microcontrollers. Thanks for watching our video. Please like our video, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.